Hi, I'm Melinda Bam and allow me to welcome you to this year's Miss Beat South Africa 2015. With more than 3,000 entrants, competition has been fierce and 10 finalists have been chosen to battle it out for one of South Africa's most coveted crowns. The glorious Four Seasons Westcliff is this year's location for the Viet Villa. This is a quintessential Viet setting where the girls enjoy the finest hospitality while meeting and being mentored by successful South African businesswomen and media personalities. This could be the life for one of those lucky finalists, but there are 14 judges and celebrity ambassadors to impress and a series of challenges to overcome. So, let's get them here. I think it is fair to say they were blown away by this year's spectacular choice for Beat Villa. Hello ladies! Welcome to the Beat Villa and let the journey begin! Before we begin the first of our challenges, Let's hear from Vominio Dan, the Veet brand manager, on why Veet created the Miss Veet SA Challenge, as well as what Veet is looking for in an ambassador. So basically the brand Veet exists to encourage women to be inspired, to love their femininity, and most of all, to have soft, beautiful, smooth skin. So therefore, the Miss Veet event was established about three years ago to really inspire and empower young women to become fantastic ambassadors for the brand. So without any further ado, I'd like okay. to introduce our special secret and celebrity judge to talk to you about conducting the perfect interview. Please put your hands together for Jeannie D. I've just been asked to come here today just to chat to some of you ladies um, a bit about my life and of course teaching you some interview skills. Whether you're going to be doing an interview or receiving an interview, I think these are amazing skills that every young woman really does need to know. Just be confident, volunteer information, and then also be very aware of your body language and your voice. So pitch and tonation is absolute key as well. The girls each had a one-on-one -on -one interview with a judge where questions like what would it mean to you to win this year's title as Miss Veet were asked. Let's now find out a little bit more about these girls. So why do you want to be the next Miss Veet? So I've always wanted to be a model and I'd like to represent the brand and get the brand out there in a positive light. From the day I knew I made it to top 20, I've just been so inspired. I mean, it's, Veet is a big brand. It's, for me, one of the stepping stones I need to one day enter Miss South Africa, to one day make it to Miss World. I mean, it's been a childhood dream. What do you think is the biggest thing that you stand to gain from being a Miss Beat? I want it to become a platform of empowerment. More than anything, I love to, to carry myself in such a way that people and young girls look up to that, and that's confidence. And once you're able to ooze yourself with real confidence, it's not what you say. It's not what you do, but it's how you make people feel that makes you stand out. So that's one challenge down. Next up is an insight into the world of media and how to use the PR platform to launch a career. The next mentor knows all about this. Lala Hirayama, take it away. First of all, V, thank you so much. It's really an honor for me to be here today and sharing this fantastic occasion with everyone. And girls, thank you so much because this is such a big moment in your lives and I get to share it. Just remember that, guys, this is not about winning. Whoever wins, it's fantastic, but life is about experience and what you do with that experience. So make this work for you no matter what the outcome. Next up is the all-important photo shoot, but not before a seminar on the success and the do's and don'ts of social media in the 21st century by Chief Editor of Grazia Magazine, Kerry Simon Lawrence. Social media can actually be a wand or a weapon. So used properly, it can do fantastic things for your profile, your career, your very being. Used incorrectly, it can be really, really damaging. The key criteria of the photo shoot challenge was beauty, photographic radiance, femininity and of course confidence. Other criteria included poise, being photogenic and just having plain fun.
And now time for the final challenge, Beautiful Body, Beautiful Mind, hosted by yours truly. It's all about how to stay fit and stay motivated. And of course, what healthy eating plan to choose. Let's get to it then. I only actually realized how important that health as a blessing was in my years, Miss Essay. And that's the first time I realized how important being healthy really actually is. Because if you are healthy, then you can do absolutely anything. You can push yourself, you can challenge yourself, you can think on your feet, you can excel and you can do more than you ever thought you could. Okay ladies, welcome to the Beat Beautiful Body Bootcamp. Are you excited? Yeah. Going to get all toned up. This is Ashley Frost, a very dear friend of mine, and she is probably the most fit person I know, so you're really in for a challenge here. Okay ladies, we're gonna do a nice combination of a full body, uh, mostly focused on core, and obviously those legs to get those wonderful beat legs going. Well done ladies, you've got this far. Time to get some thoughts of your judges. I feel like some of the ladies spend a lot more time really, you know, getting to know the brand and getting to know what yes. the brand means to them. Some of them were so confident and so bubbly and they were able to actually express, you know. I had a nine, so I'm yeah, happy with keeping her as nine. I feel like she's such a great fit. And I think the competition is about femininity. It is about inspiring young girls. It is about, you know, um, the beauty that comes from within. And I think some of them got that and some of them didn't really get that. After a long and hard day's work, I guess girls just want to have fun. A perfect ending to a perfect day. We are mere moments away from crowning our new Miss Beat essay, and it's been an incredible journey with the girls. The judges have thought long and hard, and we know who we have selected. Good luck! I'm Melinda Bam, and I would like to bid you all a very warm welcome to the Miss Viet South Africa 2015 final. Being a Viet ambassador, I know that this is truly a remarkable brand to represent. One that stands for femininity, strength, confidence, and above all, fun. So as always, uh, Veet likes to keep it interesting and to mix it up a little bit. And we would like you to host your own little judging session with the girls in a one-on-one -on -one speed interview session. sweet day for me. I'm handing over my title as Ms. Veet and I am not ready. <laughs> but I'm really confident to say that the next girl that we have chosen is going to make us really proud and she's going to do so well for herself as Ms. Veet 2015. Haha, uh -huh, the moment has arrived. And without any further ado, Ms. Veet 2015 is... Udirile Sepeng. I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. I'm excited to begin this journey and train as Miss Feet 2015. And it's about women empowerment and feeling gorgeous as a woman. And when you have silky smooth skin, you're able to embrace and radiate your feelings from within and embody that with everything that you do. 